Hi, students. Um, I have to record this again because it turns out uh, that I mistyped somehow and then there aren't any video on the introduction of the video of the lecture. So here I am. Um, today, we will continue our study on the uh, network analysis. The topic will be on the preferential attachment and, uh, and uh, scale-free properties and the small world phenomenon of the network in part of uh, the network evolution topics here. So now let's take a look at the lecture. Topics uh, in network evolution, the topics that are mostly discussed uh, are preferential attachment, which is the first uh, properties of the, uh, the network structure. And the next, next one uh, is the small world phenomenon or small, known, small world networks. Uh, understanding these two properties would allow us to understand why the evolution or the change in network that occurring like this one, the Apple Internal Innovation Network, change from uh, this structure into this structure. You see that these change are somehow having properties that obeying these two uh, these two types of uh, laws and properties involving with those. And, and the next time we will take a look at the method that you can predict the link uh, to, to predict the next link that should occur in the network. Okay, so that means today's lecture will not be about analysis. It will be about how can you generate the network? What types of rule govern network generation in such a way that you can uh, simulate the network in this form to evolve it into the next form and evolve it into the further next form, uh, all right? So we we'll take a look at these two properties and, and also functions in Python in, in Network X that uh, allow you to perform those type of connection. Okay, if you have problems, click raise hand and uh, otherwise uh, I will go on. Uh, today, actually the, the guideline of, on from KMUT universities is, from, from KMUT is quite good in, in, in the sense that uh, it, it actually contains this, um, that the lecture should not be uh, exceeding uh, 15 minutes actually, that is pretty long already. So in my, uh, I would say in, in uh, Monday, on, on Monday I, I taught in big data and that class lasts for in total about uh, almost two hours, uh, including tutorials. Um, but it, I have to chop it up into small parts. Uh, today as well, I will um, go through the, the, the lectures and, and uh, activities that we have here. But it should take about, I think, I think one, one hour and a half probably, should uh, last not, not longer than that. Uh, so if you want, to, want uh, to ask anything, you can jump in uh, any time that uh, we have here. Um, think about it as discussion somehow, right? So it's not that different from, from uh, having face-to-face -face or given, though given that we are not like seeing each other right now, spreading virus <laughs> to one another. Uh, oh, sorry, wow. Luckily, my camera is not falling off. Uh, uh, right, but we are here still learning, so that's good. And I have excuse to use my camera. So, right, let's go on, let's, let's move on here. <laughs> 